In today's video, I am making a couple of patio chairs um, using treated 1x4s and 1x6s, a very simple materials list for this project. Uh, down in the description, you'll find a link to the project plans and a step-by-step -step tutorial uh, to help you build these chairs yourself. Uh, but getting started with the project, as with most of my projects, I start by cutting the boards down into the parts uh, that I need according to the plan and I label them as I go and this way I can just follow the plan as I assemble the chair and it makes it really easy. Now there are a couple of key angles in this project uh, just to give the seat a nice lean and also for the legs to steady up the chair and I'm using my speed square here to find the angles and I cover uh, the details on how I went about doing that in the website article and I've got that linked below in the description um, if you are not familiar with that method. Uh, and for the cuts on this particular part of the project, and for most of the project, I opted to use my bandsaw and miter gauge um, to make my cuts, but the table saw would definitely be a good option here as well. Also, keep in mind that this is the very first of these chairs, and so I'm, I'm just using simple joinery with exposed screws uh, for this video, but you could use pocket holes to hide some of these screws as an alternative joinery method. Now, I also want to mention that when I design and create a project with plans, most of the time I have to build the project after making the plans and then make changes as I go while I'm building just to work out the kinks. And that's exactly what I did here in this chair build. Uh, the chair arms that you see uh, are the second version uh, that was created and the seat backboards here in this uh, clip needed to be uh, trimmed down or ripped a little bit more at this point to allow for movement and uh, just for overall aesthetics. Needless to say I had to remove all of the screws in the back and seat to do that. It's just all part of learning. Uh, but now I want to take just a second to thank Atlas 46 uh, for supporting what I do and for supporting this video. Um, if you're new here, Atlas 46 makes the shop vest that I'm wearing. Um, I wear the vest in the shop in most of my videos and when I'm working on a project, uh, they have other accessories that I wear like a magnetic wrist strap for screws. Uh, but they're just a really cool company. So you can learn more about Atlas 46 by using the link in the description. So I wanted to add a cool little feature to these chairs and I thought adding cup holders would be pretty cool. So I drilled a hole with a hole saw and ordered some stainless steel drop-in cup holders from Amazon. But in the end, I decided on a different color as you'll see later in the video. So I stained the chairs to match the shutters, columns, and picket fence I previously made for my house. I'll link those videos below in the description in case you missed them. Uh, before I applied any finish to the chairs, I looked them over and I was very well pleased with how they came out. But after letting them sit out in the weather a few days, I noticed I needed to add one more piece uh, towards the top of the seat back. The boards were starting to move and become unaligned. Uh, so went back to the shop. I cut out a quick back support, uh, cut in a curve and attached it and it worked out great. This would keep the seat back boards in line and it actually felt more secure. One thing I want to mention is that I would keep in mind when building these yourself is to keep the screws in a straight line. Uh, I let a few of the screws get out of line and it just drives my OCD crazy. With the finish, I was after a semi-gloss look and it took a few coats to get that and it came out really good, I thought. I'll link everything that I used, including the type finish. Uh, in the website article linked below. Uh, but after the finish dried, I added a couple more finishing touches, one of those being hammered nails. And this is just purely for decoration, uh, which I'm on the fence about. I added them in various places, uh, just you know where the main joinery is. Uh, but let me know what you think about these hammered nails. I'm curious. Leave me a comment below. The other accessory, of course, is just a nice, simple seat cushion. I drilled two small holes near the bottom corners uh, where the seat is uh, just to allow the strings to feed through and tie them on. Here are the black cup holders I went with. I think they look better with the dark wood and black hammered nails. 
So I am very happy with how these came out. And since making them, I've had several folks sit in them and say they're comfortable. They are slightly higher than a regular chair. And the footrest is a nice touch as well. Click the website article link below for more details and the project plans. Please subscribe if you're not already. And thanks for watching. See you next time.